Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. I've had an awful lot of requests for a series of videos showing the easy to deploy vertical antennas I'm using on the channel. The idea is to show the deployment of those antennas along with my radio, my battery pack, my solar panel and anything else that goes along with the rapid deployment of these antennas. We'll start with the Chameleon Impos, then we'll move on to other antenna systems from there. So, stick with me a while, and we'll have a look at the Chameleon Impos. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. I'm using the CHA Spike with the Hybrid Micro. And the first thing I do is push that down into the sand. From there, I'll roll out the counterpoise to about a quarter wavelength of the band I expect to operate on. If I'm going to be band hopping, I just roll it out the entire way, point it in the direction of the activity I'm hoping to work, and let the antenna tuner dial it in. If I haven't done it already, I'll go ahead and install the hybrid micro into the spike. Now, I like to use the mill whip with the mill whip extension. So let's go ahead and put the mill extension on first before the whip. I'll usually leave one section leaned over so that I can install the mill whip easily. Now we can go ahead and install the base of the mill whip into the top of the mill extension. When that's done, we'll slot in the rest of the sections of the mill whip, then lift the mill whip and the mill EXT up into place. If I'm in a hurry with this antenna configuration, it usually takes me about three minutes to set it up. At this point, I'll take a step back, inspect my antenna, and make sure everything is squared away. Once I'm satisfied, I'll go ahead and attach the coaxial cable and bring the other end to the operating position. It's usually at this point, if I'm going to use one, I'll pull out one or the other of my solar panels, either the 120 or the 220 watt panels. Since I'm operating QRO, I'm going to go ahead and use the 120 watt panel. Now I go ahead and unfold the panel and I make sure it's broadside to the sun. Then I take a step back, make a brief inspection, grab my cables and bring those cables over to my operating location. From there, I'll plug them into my charge controller and battery pack. Then I can go ahead and set up my radio. Let's take a moment to talk about the wiring between your battery or power supply and your rig. It's important to make sure you're using cable of adequate capacity for the amps you're drawing with your radio. Some of the biggest problems we have in the field when operating QRO are caused by inadequate wires for the amount of amps we're drawing from our rigs. One telltale sign of inadequate wiring is a significant voltage drop while transmitting, so please keep that in mind. At this point, I'll get my antenna tuner, my radio, and my Raspberry Pi out of my Pelican case or ammo cam, whichever one I happen to be using. The Raspberry Pi, the radio, the audio interface are already connected. So all I need to do is connect power to the radio, the antenna to the antenna tuner, and the antenna tuner to the radio. At the moment, this looks like chaos, but I'm working on some shorter cables and cleaning it all up. And here's my amateur radio field station, or at least one version of it. The Yaesu FT891 connects to the LDG Z100 Plus in a custom case. That's connected to the Chameleon Impos with the Mill EXT extension. In this configuration, I'm using a PowerFilm Solar 120 watt FM1670 200. It may seem like a lot of gear, but this is a completely self contained backpack portable ham radio station built around the Impos. All right, guys, look, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, let me know by leaving me a comment and perhaps a thumbs up. Also, if it's not too much to ask, you can share this video with someone or someplace 
where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. You all are awesome. Thanks for watching. Ciao.